How you doing everybody? Paul from Flying Colors Painting and welcome to the Frequently Asked Questions section of our website. And uh, today I am going to be talking about lath and plaster cracks, you know, nail pops, doorknob holes, uh, things that, uh, that need repairing, uh, you know, on, uh, on, on surfaces and drywall. So, and I especially want to talk about lath and plaster first. So, uh, lath and plaster is a common method. Before the invention of drywall sheets, it created walls and ceiling finishes. It's created with a network of laths that look like this. And then plaster is applied to the lath uh, to have a quick finish like this. <clears throat> Typically, there are two by four sections that can be quite prominent and you can really notice them on ceilings in older houses. They kind of dip a little bit. You'll see like a wave. Um, you know, if you have a lath and plaster finish in your house, chances are you have some, you've experienced some cracking. And uh, usually they happen above door frames and window frames uh, up on an angle like this. Um, I repair a lot of these issues for people in older homes, you know. Um, the way I address this is I will open the, the crack slightly, uh, but of course, first I'll spray it with water so that uh, because of the, there may be asbestos mixed in with the plaster, um, I don't want any of that getting airborne or dust being created, so I'll just water it down. I'll open up the crack a little bit and then I apply drywall compound inside it. Um, you know, this by no means is going to permanently fix this repair. Houses settle, they go back and forth and uh, you know, there will always be, that's normally where the cracks will appear is above doorways and, uh, um, uh, and windows like that. Uh, on the bigger, nastier ones, we can absolutely uh, put tape on there and the crack won't reappear through the tape, but chances are I could go right beside it, you know. Um, uh, usually these cracks are, are, you know, they're formed from stress or settling the house and, um, you know, plaster walls are notorious for this type of cracking. So how do you stop all the cracking from occur occurring in the future, Paul, you may ask me. Well, you know, you don't. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but settling is always going to happen. And one surefire way to stop this option, you know, is to drywall over the last and plaster. But, you know, that's a hugely expensive uh, ordeal if you want to do that to your whole house. All of your electrical panel, electrical boxes need to be pushed out to the thickness of the, uh, of the drywall. Uh, any kind of door frames and everything need to be redone. It's, uh, you know, it's not a, it's not a great resolution. Uh, it's a huge mess with a bunch of, uh, you know, drywall dust and stuff like that um you know another common issue that we see a lot you know is uh, nail pops and this is usually for drywall surfaces and the reason this happens again is the house settling and uh, you know the sideways stresses will cause some of the fasteners to pop you know just like this the proper way to fix this is install another two two screws one above and one below the pop and then remove the the actual screw that's causing the pop and then patch sand prime and paint that area uh <laughs> doorknob bashing is really something that we see a lot just like this <clears throat> and the repairs for this you know is to back the hole with wood like this and then screw it to the drywall like this and then insert the drywall into the hole and attach it to the piece of wood you know, then tape compound. We use this method for patching a lot of pot lights as well. Uh, if somebody's putting pot lights in, we'll ask them to uh, save the pucks that they use to drill the holes with. And um, we can redo, reuse the puck with that same method of uh, the backing. Uh, alternatively, for uh, holes that are, you know, not huge, a doorknob hole we can get away with is we can use this mesh kit. And here's a picture of that. And that makes things easier for smaller repairs. But, you know, on larger spaces, the backing needs to be there for you to screw in the drywall and to support the patch itself. Um, fixing a bumper guard, and here's one here, or a spring stopper like this, uh, will fix the issue from happening again. So I hope this answers any of your questions about uh, cracking and uh, uh, nail pops and such. Uh, please look at our other uh, frequently asked questions videos that I put together in this series. And my name is Paul. I'm from Flying Colors Painting and that's how we roll.